In a shocking turn of events, the cryptocurrency world was rocked on May 20th when an attacker minted 5 billion gala tokens worth approximately $240 million. This unprecedented exploit sent ripples through the market, leaving everyone in disbelief. The attacker didn't waste any time. They managed to sell 600 million of these gala tokens on the decentralized exchange Uniswap, causing the token's price to plummet by 20% within just an hour. Gala's price dropped from about $0.048 to $0.038 in what felt like the blink of an eye. For those closely watching their investments, it was a nerve-wracking experience. Just a day later, in an unexpected twist, Gala Games received around $22 million in Ethereum back from the attacker. 5,913 Ether, which was gained from selling the stolen tokens, was sent back to a Gala-controlled wallet. This surprising return of funds came as a huge relief to the community. On-chain data confirmed this transaction, labeling it as coming from the Gala Games exploiter. Gala Games attributed the recovery of these funds to their swift and effective response, helped by the involvement of federal law enforcement agencies. Immediately upon detecting the transfer of $200 million worth of Gala tokens, they activated their new Gala Chain's block list protocol. This security feature is designed to halt the circulation of compromised tokens, and within 45 minutes, they successfully froze 4.4 billion of the 5 billion newly minted tokens. This was a crucial move that prevented any further damage. CEO Eric Schiermeyer disclosed that the team collaborated with agencies such as the FBI and DOJ to identify the hacker. While the identity of the attacker has not been publicly confirmed, it's clear that law enforcement played a significant role in this swift action. Now they face an important decision regarding the block listed tokens. They announced a Founders Node ecosystem governance vote to determine whether the 4.4 billion block listed Gala tokens should be considered effectively burned. This decision aligns with Gala's dynamic supply distribution model, as outlined in the Gala ecosystem blueprint. Essentially, Burning tokens means permanently removing them from circulation, which can potentially increase the value of the remaining tokens. The unexpected return of the Ether tokens leaves Gala with an unplanned $23 million windfall. Shearmeyer mentioned in a Discord post that the team is likely to use the returned Ethereum tokens to buy back and burn an equivalent amount of Gala tokens. The market has responded positively to these developments. DWF Labs announced that it had purchased 28 million Gala tokens on the open market to stabilize the token's value and protect its investment. This proactive measure has contributed to a 9.3% rise in Gala's value over the past week. Currently, Gala is up in the last 24 hours, reaching $0.043, which is a promising recovery from the earlier turmoil. Gala Games' quick response and the use of their advanced security protocols highlight the importance of robust security measures in the crypto space. This incident underscores the need for constant vigilance and rapid action to protect digital assets. The collaboration with federal law enforcement agencies demonstrates that even in the decentralized world of cryptocurrencies, traditional methods of investigation and enforcement remain vital. This entire episode also brings to light the evolving nature of blockchain security and the challenges faced by crypto projects in safeguarding their networks. The fact that Gala Games could freeze the majority of the newly minted tokens within such a short time frame is a testament to the effectiveness of their blocklist protocol. As we look to the future, it will be interesting to see how Gala Games and other blockchain projects continue to enhance their security measures. The lessons learned from this incident will undoubtedly influence future strategies and protocols. For now, Gala Games seems to be on the right track, recovering from the exploit and taking decisive steps to protect its community and assets. So, what can we take away from this? The rapid response from Gala Games, the involvement of federal agencies, and the positive market reaction all point to a resilient and adaptive ecosystem. It's a stark reminder that while the crypto world can be volatile, it's also capable of bouncing back. 
stay tuned to this channel for more updates on this and other major developments in the crypto space. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video informative. Let us know what you think about Gala Games' handling of this exploit. Until next time, keep your investments secure and stay informed.